Every 37 years, Jamaica faces a storm that doesn't just destroy buildings, it reshapes our destiny. The year was 1915. The first great storm of the century ripped through the island, taking lives, crops, and hope. Then came 1951, with Hurricane Charlie flattening Kingston, tearing apart the economy, and forcing an entire nation to rebuild from ashes. 37 years later, 1988, Hurricane Gilbert, the monster that silenced an entire island for weeks. Now, exactly 37 years after Gilbert, in 2025, another storm is farming. Her name is Melissa. But this time, something feels different. The ocean is hotter. The winds are stronger. The atmosphere is angrier. And the people are beginning to whisper. Is the 37-year curse returning to finish what Gilbert started? Or worse, could Hurricane Melissa become an extinction-level event for Jamaica? If you find videos like these interesting or informative, then you can give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's trace the pattern. 1915 1951, 1988, and now 2025. Four generations, four apocalyptic storms. In 1915, communication was primitive. There was no early warning system. The storm came like a thief in the night, tearing through plantations, drowning livestock, and leaving Jamaica in ruin. In 1951, Charlie arrived, not as a storm, but as a force of annihilation. Roofs flew through the air like paper, trees became weapons, and rivers turned into raging oceans that swallowed entire districts. And in 1988, Gilbert, to this day, the name alone sends chills through the hearts of those who lived it. Jamaica was plunged into total darkness. No electricity, no water, no communication. For days, people wandered through debris, searching for family members, hearing nothing but the moaning wind and the cries of despair. It was as if the island itself had stopped breathing. Now, 37 years later, the pattern repeats. And if that pattern holds, Melissa may not just destroy, she may erase. Scientists will tell you there is no such thing as a curse. But they also admit there is a cycle. It's called the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation. A mysterious rhythm in the ocean that flips every 30 to 40 years. When the Atlantic warms, hurricanes become monsters. In 1951, the waters were hot. In 1988, they were boiling. In 2025, the Caribbean is now the warmest it has ever been in recorded history. Satellite images show sea surface temperatures so high that they are off the historical charts, feeding storms with enough energy to flatten entire nations. So maybe this isn't superstition after all. Maybe the 37-year curse isn't folklore. It's climate's revenge. Now, Melissa is farming under the most dangerous conditions ever seen in the Atlantic Basin. She is fueled by ocean heat levels that rival boiling points in shallow waters. And their projected path, if it holds, puts Jamaica directly in the crosshairs. Experts warn this could be a slow-moving Category 5 storm. 
The kind that doesn't just pass, it stays. It rains for days, floods for weeks, and leaves cars that last lifetimes. Modern Jamaica is more vulnerable than it seems. Our coastlines are crowded, our power grid unstable, and many homes built on floodplains that will turn to rivers when the storm hits. If Melissa hits directly, the results could be biblical. Roads cut off, communications wiped out, entire parishes isolated. Even our food supply is at risk. One massive hurricane could wipe out crops, livestock, and even fisheries, plunging Jamaica into a national famine. If that happens, survival won't be about rebuilding. It'll be about endurance. After Gilbert, Jamaica lost over 40% of its housing and nearly half of its food production. But Gilbert was a category 3. Melissa, with ocean temperatures this high, could reach category 5 plus, stronger than anything ever recorded in the Caribbean. Guys, as my record, the electricity start go already, you know. But picture it. 200 mile per hour winds tearing roofs from concrete, mountains collapsing into valleys, the sea swallowing entire coastal communities like Port Royal centuries ago, and in the aftermath, silence, no lights, no aid, no communication. That's what an extinction level hurricane looks like. Not just destruction, but disconnection, a moment when a nation is cut off from the world, left to fend for itself. Survival isn't guaranteed, but neither is destruction. We have been through hell before, slavery, rebellion, political turmoil, and hurricanes that seemed to mark the end. And yet, Jamaica always rises. But this time, survival depends on readiness. If the government fails to act fast, if the people don't prepare, and if the warnings go ignored, Melissa could end the cycle by ending us. It's no longer about fear. It's about awareness. Because every generation gets its test. 1915 faced theirs. 1951 faced theirs. 1988 faced theirs. Now, it's our turn. So the question remains, will Jamaica survive the 37-year curse? Or will Hurricane Melissa be the storm that finally proves the prophecy true? An extinction-level event that rewrites Jamaica's story forever. Drop your thoughts in the comments. This is Elite Jamaica, uncovering the mysteries, the history, and the hidden truths that others fear to tell. Stay vigilant, stay aware, and remember, when the winds begin to whisper, it may already be too late. Thank you for watching.